Isamu Noguchi was the son of parents from two different cultures. Although his mother wanted him to be a doctor, he became one of the most significant artists of the 20th century. You can see some of Noguchi's artworks for yourself here in Milwaukee by simply going for a walk downtown. Two of Noguchi's red geometric sculptures can be seen as part of Sculpture Milwaukee's exhibition, Actual Fractals, Act One. You'll find one on the northwest corner of Wisconsin Avenue and North Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, just across the street from Third Street Market Hall. The second sculpture is in the Third Ward on North Broadway, just south of the Public Market. Let's learn more about Noguchi and Actual Fractals, Act One. Yeah, so we're really excited to have uh, Samu Noguchi's um, sculptures here in Milwaukee. We have two of these sculptures, and uh, one is here uh, near downtown off of Wisconsin Avenue, Martin Luther King Drive, and the other one's down in the Third Ward. Noguchi was a really influential mid-century um, artist who kind of defined modernist style. Um, but these sculptures were designed both to have a visual aesthetic, but also to be engaged in. And these are designed um, to be play sculptures. Uh, they invite um, people to climb on them. And, and um, to me, I really love this idea. Often we think about um, different ways of engagement with artwork. And in this work, the artist is actually um, not just symbolically asking us to engage in the work, but physically to explore it. Noguchi's sculptures are part of Sculpture Milwaukee's exhibition called Actual Fractals, Act One. The exhibition brings together the work of several artists from different parts of the world to showcase the similarities we all share, even though we may be from different places and cultures. John Riepenhoff is the executive director of Sculpture Milwaukee and also the curator of Actual Fractals, Act One. The idea of Actual Fractals, Act One, was kind of a way to describe how there's many Milwaukee's in one Milwaukee and that we're all kind of sharing the same time and place. And through each artwork, we're kind of invited into the worldview or the personal view of different artists. This exhibition shows uh, 11 works by eight different artists. Each piece is kind of a gateway into different artists' worldview. A fractal itself is kind of a repeated uh, pattern or a form that can be scaled in different ways. And for me, it's an organizing principle to think about um, ways of um, connecting with different people and sympathizing with uh, patterns in their life that might be different, but have qual similar kind of qualities of our own lives. So it's describing how we have many Milwaukee's that are kind of all sharing this space and overlapping. So this is one of four new images uh, by artist Pa Her, who's Minneapolis based. And each one of these images that are in different uh, parts of downtown Milwaukee depict scenes of the jungle in Laos. These uh, light boxes, which we produced for this exhibition, um, become almost portholes from downtown Milwaukee to the, this jungle scene. This particular uh, piece is a light box with an image on both sides, and they're different images, so you can kind of be invited to step to the other side and see another jungle scene. I love this juxtaposition of being in this concrete um, environment and then being entered into this world. In Erica Verzuti's piece, she's actually created a large-scale bronze sculpture that is a stack of three different um, tropical fruit that are found in the climate and the forests around uh, Sao Paulo, where she's from. And um, I like to think about it in terms of if we did a Milwaukee version, it might be a broad and a piece of cheese. <laughs> and in some ways, um, they're describing regional specialties, but also things that could be threatened if the jungles go away. So this is Sun's Fall by Katie Cowan, and Katie is a, uh, from Wisconsin. She's a Berlin-based artist. She actually developed um, some of the technology to make um, what typically was an indoor uh, type of sculpture um, to be safe to be outside for a duration. They look like they're two by fours in ropes, but they're actually cast in aluminum, and then they're painted with oil paint. So they have, uh, when you get the chance to look at it up close, it has all the richness and detail of an indoor oil painting, but it's also something that we can present outside. Lars Fisk's Tudor Ball is one of the more prominent pieces of actual fractals, Act One. Perched on the corner of East Wisconsin Avenue outside the U.S. Bank building, 
Fisk's objective with the Tudor Ball was to, quote, make clear the true essence of the subject by representing it for what it is not, a ball. The Lars Fisk work, um, which is a replica of a Tudor home only in the shape of a, of a giant sphere, a ball, um, the artist is actually taking something very familiar to us, which is uh, in very common in Milwaukee landscape, um, the, the Tudor revival, Tudor home, and he's using all the same qualities, real wood, real glass, and um, terracotta um, roof, but he's actually reformatted those uh, elements to kind of snap onto this, this sphere. So um, you see a lot of craft, and it kind of captures our imagination that like it's something very familiar, but it's actually in this new form. And I love to see that as this way of in juxtaposition with literally the tallest buildings in the state, um, kind of as this kind of ball, almost uh, the image of it almost rolling down the streets of uh, downtown Milwaukee. I'm Sandy Max. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more arts related stories.